Last week, patients in nursing homes were reunited with their loved ones. Lindsay Buckingham introduces us to a man who's lived through multiple brain surgeries and a bout with COVID-19. And we were there when he sat across from his wife for the first time in four months. Renee Kraus is visiting her husband, Andrew. That's nothing new because he's lived here at Menorah Park in Beechwood for the last 14 years. Hi, wife. Hi, sweetie. He's, he had a very big brain tumor and they operated on it and a lot of complications that uh, resulted in him requiring care that I couldn't provide for him. Today's visit, profound. It's the first time the two have been in person together in a very long time. I think it's four months. It's got to be at least four months, maybe more. Andrew is in good hands. Andrew is our star. <laughs> he's, he's, he's been my star for a long time. I years. know, and you're <laughs> equally as well to share. <laughs> he's made it through eight brain surgeries, and most recently, COVID-19 positive for two months. I feel good. I was pretty much asymptomatic the whole time. He's recovered now, and the couple forges on in love as they have for 28 years. It's awesome to see this beautiful lady right here. It's the highlight of my day, highlight of my month. They're grateful, but long for the moment where they can embrace one another. The, the best part is I'm hoping this is moving us toward the day that I could hug him and kiss him again. For now, they love on each other from a safe distance. It's cooking, good looking. This man has been through hell and back many times and he is a survivor and blessed to have him. She makes me happy. She's a great cook and I miss that a lot. She's the love of my life. I'll call her my bride till the day we die. Cause she is. Lindsay Buckingham, three news. And Renee tells us she will keep visiting her husband as much as she can until they can once again be in each other's arms. Wonderful story. A couple of really nice feel-good stories tonight. Laura, things to aspire to, certainly.